Oh, yeah. Good morning, you motherfucking sunshines. Fuckers, I won't trail, man. Shit. Um, nice camp spot last night. I had it all to myself. It's beautiful. Well, I didn't have it all to myself. I had some deer friend last night accompanying me for dinner, a buck and a doe. That buck, he would not fucking go away. He'd go away, I'd yell at him, he'd fucking come back. All fucking night long. <laughs> it's cool, he'd get within fucking five feet of my tent. Just wanted to say hello, I guess. Uh, it was nice having him for company. But, we got a, kind of a, interesting situation on our hands there's like 44 miles to bucks lake road which is the easiest way to get a hitch into quincy apparently now there's an earlier option and 11 miles something laporte road but i guess it's a little more remote and a little harder to get a hitch possibly on, especially on a random ass tuesday but the problem i have is i'm running out of food uh, that unexpected zero day i took at the rest stop back in our trucky that, that was my extra day of food. I fucking ate that there. So I basically got like, I think two or three ramen packets. Uh, yeah, I got two ramen packets, three tuna packets, oatmeal, a few bars, and that's about it, and coffee. So um, I think what I'm going to do is if I can get cell service before this 11 miles, I have a tracking number for my box. I don't think it's going to show up today because I think it was shipped yesterday. So chances are I'm going to be pushing big miles, um, like 30 today to get close enough to where I can do like a 14 mile day into town tomorrow on very little food. But uh, I'll check if I get cell service and see if that box is going to show up today. If that's the case, I'll just try to get a hitch in from that Laporte road and go in there, get my box and get back on fucking trail. So no big deal. Um, you can live without food for a day. You can't live without water for a day. I know there's plenty of fucking water on this goddamn trail. So, all right, let's get to them. That's going to be a great fucking day. All right, so we're coming up on this Quincy Laporte Road here in a second. That is the first option to get into Quincy, um, but it's a 22 mile hitch and I heard the traffic, according to Guthoe's comments, on this road is very minimal, but it's almost 11.30, so damn near lunchtime anyway. I think what I'm gonna do is <clears throat> just sit by the road, have some lunch, stick my thumb out. It's worth a try, I sit there for a half hour, 45 minutes. If I don't get a hitch, I'll push on. But if I can get it, my box doesn't actually show up till tomorrow, but if I can get in town today and not risk having to hike a big mile day tomorrow without food, I'd rather do that than just stealth camp in Quincy tonight. So, all right, let's get down on this road. We'll give it a shot, man. I'm getting hungry anyway. All right, fuck it. There ain't no traffic on that fucking road other than logging trucks. I walked point three down the highway uh, to where there's some water. Walked the point three back to where I started. Sat by the road, ate lunch for like 25, 30 minutes. No fucking car. So fuck it. That's a lost cause in getting back to that spot. 
I'm sure it would be even worse. So, fuck it. 33 miles to Bucks Lake Road, where all the locals apparently go. It's easy to get a hitch up from there. Ah, body's feeling good anyway. Let's push a big fucking mile a day, man. Hell yeah. All right, my folks, thank fuck for Fowler Creek. Even though it's 500 feet steep downhill, I didn't care. That was some good taste in water, man. I needed that shit. This has been a dry, dry stretch of trail. We've been spoiled. Um, yeah, I, the last reliable water source is at that fucking road, I guess. Um, 11 miles back, there was a spring, all their spring, but I never did see it. It must have been a side trail if I crossed one of those roads. I don't fucking know. And there's a water cache about 8.8 .8 back. That seemed to have some shit there, but yeah, I needed that fucking water. Regardless, we're fueled up. Um, we got about 20 in for the day, and it's still early. It's only like maybe 3.30. So we're going to get down to the bottom of this, I think another five miles or so, but then we're going to start climbing. It's a gnarly fucking climb <laughs> at the end of the fucking day. Not looking forward to it. So we'll be coming up on Bear Creek right at the base of it the fuck was that goddamn chatter and crackhead uh bear creek would be my first option to camp there's water there and a nice tent site i think which means though i'd have to do that whole fucking climb tomorrow morning on very few calories but whatever uh, i've already put in a lot of fucking miles today or start climbing up the fucking mountain and hope for a water source and a flat spot to put my tent we'll worry about that when we get there let's get to it mine shit <laughs> fucking tired man uh, 29 miles Bear Creek just past that bridge I got water here um, nice tenting spots I'm surprised nobody else is here it's like damn near 6 o'clock but whatever uh, got 29 in today I couldn't start climbing that fucking hill mountain I should say ankles started to throb and my feet were fucking burning like a motherfucker plus I'm Minimal calories, so I don't have the energy to get up there anyway. So I'd rather save the little food that I do have, rest my body tonight, and go up that fucking hill on fresh legs and a fresh ankle tomorrow. So that leaves us 15 miles to uh, Buck Lake Road. That'll take us into Quincy. Supposedly an easy hitch from there. So uh, I would like to Nero there. I don't think I, my budget allows staying in a fucking hotel these days. So 
I'm, I'm gonna have to charge my shit and upload videos, so I might just go in there and stealth camp it somewhere. There's gotta be a park of some sort out of stealth camp it tomorrow. <sighs> I need a fucking cheeseburger at least, man. They better have Mickey D's there. I'm tired, I'm babbling. We'll holler at you motherfuckers in the morning. Oh,